Hey everybody, Neil Malik from Knack Training here, bringing you another everyday office video. And in today's video, I wanna demonstrate how to do this technique right here. So you can see here, I've got a couple of different slides that are all the same, where I've got uh, basically the breakdown of a company and I wanna describe this to people, but I don't want them swimming in information right off the bat. So what I can do, if you watch the presentation, as you can see, it pops up with only the high level elements, the major departments that are under the executive branch of this organization. And then if I want to talk about the operations teams, I can click on operations and you can see those uh, people drop down. And then same way, if you wanna talk about production, I can talk about the production teams and same way with finance. So what I've done here is created a series of clickable elements. The different departments are clickable so that I can expand out the teams that fall under those departments. So let's see how that technique is done. The first part I need to do, and I'm back here on just a clean version of it. There's nothing working here. There's just the different shapes. The first thing I need to do is open up the selection pane. And uh, on the home tab on the arrange drop down menu, there's selection pane right there. And I want you to notice that if you are building out uh, some sort of illustration, that you will have tons and tons of rectangles um, or other shapes, and they'll just be numbered sequentially. And that can be rather exhausting. So what I'm going to do is I need to be able to identify that the technology department is this block here and then the shapes underneath the technology department are the different teams under technology. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on to and hold down shift and select all three of the different teams under technology. And then I can use the keyboard shortcut control G to group. Again, click on all the shapes under operations, control G, and I'll just repeat to group together the three teams under each one of these. As you can see there, this makes it a little bit easier to read because now I have groups 28, 29, 30, and 31, and 32 that all have different rectangles within them but I still wanna go a step further. I can take the name group 32 here, which is obviously the teams that fall under finance, just double click on it, and I'll just rename this as the finance teams. Click on production, you'll notice that's actually group 31 here. I can rename group 31 to the production teams, and then just repeat for the rest of them. Make sure that you know which group is which, what they're all about, and give them more successful names so that you'll remember what you're looking at later. And now I can go ahead and collapse these and I don't really have to pay attention to the individual shapes within these groups because each one of the groups is easily identifiable. Then I can go a step further and click on finance. Notice that it's rectangle three and I can rename this as finance. And in fact, I can just take that finance entry and put it up here next to finance so that's easier for me to pick out. So rectangle four is production etc. Now that I have this really cleanly organized over here in my selection pane, it's going to make the animation process a lot easier. So I'll click on to the finance teams here, go to my animations tab at the top of the screen, and I would like to, let's actually have it show up by floating in coming down. So when I choose float in there, and then I choose the effect from top down, you can see there it falls from underneath finance and I can make it go a little bit faster, maybe a half second. Now, besides the fact that this comes in, I also need it to disappear. So I'll also use the drop down menu here for add animation and make it float out going back up. And again, that can take a half a second.
What's really great at this point is I can click on to this group over here that has these two animations on it, click on the animation painter, and I can apply that same animation to those additional shapes there. I can double click on the animation painter, click on the next one, and the next one, and then the next one. And then I hit escape, and the animation painter is no longer active. So I can easily see here the first group has two animations, the second group has two animations, etc. The problem is that right now each one of these is done in sequential order based off a click. And so the finance team will show up and disappear, and then the production team will show up and disappear. We're not talking about something organic, which is what I was shooting for. So to finish that off, I go over here to the animation pane, and I can quickly see that the finance team's animations are right here. I'm going to go ahead, click on the first one, hold the shift, and click on the second one, and use the trigger of clicking on the finance option. Again, click on production, hold down shift, click on the production exit, add the trigger of click of production, marketing, and marketing, when you click on marketing, operations and operations, when you click the trigger of operations and technology and technology, when you click the trigger of technology. And just like that, I have both the entrance and the exit animation set up for the triggers of each of those five entries. I can close down these two pan panes on the right hand side and start the presentation. And as opposed to the previous one where that was simply show up and disappear here, I can have them drop down underneath each one of the entries, or if I click on it, I can have it disappear as well. Really smooth, natural, and again, you can organically discuss any combination of teams you want because you have each one of them available with a click.